Hey everyone, it's me, Doomlink, and welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Four Souls Adventures. It is currently part 8 for my Let's Play, and it is the 20th of November 2017 as I am recording this. Okay, let's go and head into this area. This is the first time I'm doing this area, I haven't even seen it before. Hopefully it won't confuse me at all. That is a vulture, I think. <laughs> I just saw it hanging around there. Oh, n no! This was not the kind of experience I was looking for. I was looking for something, you know, possibly exciting, but this is not exciting at all. This is just... No, I'm not looking at anything you're saying. But I did manage to see, once again, to uh, contradict myself, him saying the word Goron. So there you go. I was wondering before whether or not the Gorons existed, and it seems that they do exist. So that vulture there is actually something that exists in the dark. What the fuck is that? What were they thinking? That is the most disabled looking creature I have seen in my life. Like, all right, anyway, what? This is very bad. Yes, the fact that you were born is horrendous. I, I don't know what you are, but I kind of want to put you back in the ground where you belong. Like, that's just freaking disgusting. Anyway, so I'm guessing what we need to do at this stage is carry pots. You know what? It would be better if we all carried pots. So let's all carry pots. Let's go. Uh, can we just... Yeah, we continue to carry the pots like this. That's good. Uh, hopefully we can... Yes, we can individually throw the pots like this. We will change to the next link. If we stay as a group and we press the throw button, all it will do is just throw all the pots at once. So let's not do that. Good idea, me. No, wrong thing. There we go. Right, so now we can go and head down this way, and I think that's all we really need to do. Hold on. What are those? Are those, like, sealed force gems there? Like, we need to unlock them or something? I don't know what's going on there, but anyway. Uh, what happens if we fall down there? What goes on here? What's this for? What's that? What are these? Maybe we get more pots here. We must... Uh, or we get the rocks feather. There you go. That works too. What happens if we push this? Anything? Nothing. All right, good to know. So I guess using the rocks feather we can jump across here and talk to this abomination again. <laughs> see that cave? Yeah, I do see that cave. And I kind of want to go in there just to escape from you because you're freaking disturbing me. But anyway, let's go jump this again. Well, again, I say. We haven't jumped that before necessarily, but what the fuck is this? But yeah, um, alright, what we need to do, indeed, is go and get more of those pots, so let's go do that. I do love the rock's feather, it's rather nice. You do feel like you are on top of the world, in a sense. I'm going to once again pick up all of these, as many as I can, long story short, here we go. Alrighty. This is going to be entertaining, watch this. Oh! I pressed the wrong thing. <laughs> I was supposed to press the A button to use the rock's feather, and then I pressed R to throw... Those frickin' pots, that was beautiful. That's exactly what I wanted, of course. Don't even doubt it for- Okay, that time I pressed the R button to roll, and then I forgot that I was carrying something, and then therefore would throw the pots instead of rolling. This is turning out to be a very good recording. Okay, here we go. Was that entertaining? I hope so. So what we're gonna do, first and foremost, is throw that. I think what we need to do is just get rid of all the fire, and then that seriously deformed creature back there will uh, no longer be upset. Oh, here we go. So I'm guessing there's more fire that we need to deal with. Like, oh fuck, that's not what I wanted to do. I wanted to jump. Another rock's feather. Thank you for all of those rock feathers. Or rock's feathers, I don't know. Rocks's feathers is as. Anyway, there's some more fire over that way, so I'm guessing we are going to need to carry more of these. So let's go ahead and do that, shall we? Come on. Oh god, I needed to... Uh, scratch my face for a moment there, so I was not able to immediately change my formation. Anyway, let's go over to the top of this area, well not really the top of this area, you know what I mean when I say that. Uh, this is what I want to do, I went to the wrong link before, but anyway, how many pots do we need for this one? Oh, just one, beautiful, so I wasted my time, is that right? Alright, let me demonstrate what I was going to demonstrate before. Press the R button, they all throw it, there you go. What's going on in here? Nothing? Alright, good to know. So, at the top here- oh yeah, that's right, I probably could have- That's a bit insulting. There's one more fire thing right there. Alright, beautiful. I can't believe this. Alright, so, I'm just guessing that we do need to get rid of it. Let me guess, there's that one freaking bit of fire there. He's like, oh, this is bad, very- Did I say bad? I just said bad instead of bad. Because, you know, very similar sounding things. 
bad and bad. It's just, you know, absolutely. They're pretty much interchangeable, but anyway, I didn't even know what I'm on about. And once again, there's me trying to roll. I need to stop doing this. I, I have some sort of problem, I think. <laughs> like, you guys are probably very confused as to what the fuck is going on in my head. I am just as confused as you are. I'm just kind of very used to rolling at this stage. And unfortunately, the roll and throw button are the same thing. So, yeah, I think the controls in this game are a little bit strange. Definitely not very well thought out, in my opinion. But anyway... Just in case we need more pots, we will continue up. Oh, how did I fucking guess? Only two more, fortunately, so... That's one good thing to mention. I will keep Purple Link holding his pot. And we will just go through here, I guess. Oh, we get more pots. How beautiful is that? Maybe we'll all just pick up a pot. And the Fuck you! Far out. Alrighty, and then Blue Link picks up a pot, and then... Wait. That was weird. One of the pots... Oh, they're reappearing. That's the deal. Good to know. I was very confused because something strange happened there, long story short. But anyway, oh, oh, what? Those look like, I don't know, asses. They just, what? Oh, okay, what, why are you getting so emotional? Um, I don't really want to pick up that for now. Can I get back through here? Yes, I can. Let's just go up through here just to see if this takes us anywhere. It is taking us somewhere. Do we go up? Yeah, okay. So if we, oh, some frickin' vultures, okay. This is not good, so I guess what we want to do is access that staircase. Now, once again, I'm saying staircase when I mean just say stairs. It's just a really bad habit that I'm in. I've always been in that habit. You know what we're going to have to do? Okay. So we need to go and get that Megaton Hammer indeed, or the Magic Hammer, sorry. Oh, I can't get out of here. All right. Fine. Fuck these pots. I'm getting rid of them. Get out of my way. Alrighty, so we're going to go down here, and then hopefully, oh, we don't really have any bombs to blow that up. God, this game is just messing with me. Oh, really? Oh, well, fuck. I didn't need to do anything. Oh, my God, I'm in a bad mood now. Alright, well, you go blow up. Do what you need to do. Keep forgetting that going inside the cave doesn't change what happens out here. Let's go throw this bomb. I know what I need to do now, but uh, I don't have any pots, unfortunately. Oh, never mind. The game is actually being nice to me for a change. Oh my god. I'm astounded. I'm not talking to any more of these weird gorons. If you can possibly see just over there. Oh, did I really just do that? Okay. I threw them all because I thought we'd only need one. But no, this time we need two. Even though last time I thought we'd need more than one for... Once again, not my intention to do that. Let's just pick up one. I bet all, all I need is one at this stage. But if you can see that other goron in the bottom right corner of the screen there... That thing looks even more deformed than the previous ones. I don't know why I threw it in that direction. This is... You guys must think I'm seriously disabled or something, but I'm telling you, it's just... The controls are very confusing in this game, okay? I'm telling you. They're just confusing. Alrighty. That's... I'm astounded. Okay, so here we go again. Back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. All due to my personal incompetence. What a good level this is. What a good video this is. It's bloody depressing. Anyway, here we go. We are finally done, and I will try to hit this vulture. Come on, no. No, just shit. Fuck. <laughs> Come on, yeah, yeah. Oh, there you go, but I still got hit. All right, there you go. Excellent. Let's go pick up that force gem. Speaking of force gems, I have, like, no force gems. My God, I hope we get a lot soon. Oh, this is something that we need to light. Well, I guess we're going to have to try and watch and see which one of these we want to light, because there are a lot of options that we have available to us right now. Some Tektites in true Death Mountain style, of course. I'm pretty sure Death Mountain did originate in A Link to the Past. I don't think it was Ocarina of Time where that originated, but anyway, let's try and read this. So we know that the first one isn't going to work. Which one do we want to actually blow up? Do we want to hit this one, or...? I'm not too sure what even happens when we blow these up, so therefore I'm not exactly sure. But it seems that we actually want to... Alright, let me see. I think it might be the last one, if I'm reading this correctly. Yeah, it's the last one. Alright, so I guess we need the fire rod or the lantern or something like that. So let's go ahead and do this. Oh, that it? What? Oh, maybe we pushed it? 
I reckon we roll this rock. I knew it. I just had a feeling. But, uh, can I, like, possibly not talk to you? Because I don't want to talk to you. I'm just saying that's not a requirement here. You don't have anything flammable on you, do you? I set up a bomb to blow out the cliff. So we could build a new road. I just have this distinct feeling that we need the fire rod to light all of them at the same time. Possibly. I don't know what these boomerangs are for, but I feel like they are going to be of some use. I look at them now and I say to myself, well, what are we actually going to use those boomerangs for? I can't really work it out, but we're being given them, so they must be used for something. Let me see if I can possibly work out the usage on what they would be used for. I don't know. Something flammable. We've been putting out fire for this entire area, and now I need something flammable. I mean, fucking hell, this game. It's taunting me. Something flammable. I don't... I mean, it would just have to be an item, wouldn't it? Well, let me go back. Maybe I need bombs, but... One of these caves must have an item that I'm looking for. So how about we go to the third cave, because we haven't been in this one yet. Maybe it gives us a fire rod or something. Because I need one, long story short. So there's a hole that we can bomb. See if we get access to actual bombs here, which we are not given access to. Beautiful. So, uh... Alright, you know what I think we need to do? Let's go and get the magic hammer, wherever that is. Where is it? I remember seeing the magic hammer before, now I don't know exactly where it is at this stage. So what we're going to do... Alright, okay, I understand. Let me use my mind's eye for a moment. We first want to go through the first cave. Let's say first a few more times. But that is indeed the first thing that we want to do. Go to through the first cave, because that's where I had access to the hammer before. Well, not. Okay, so where did I see the hammer? In the second? No, I just went through the second. Oh, no, I'm being an idiot, as you can tell. All right, so we want to go through here, pick up the Megaton hammer. Once again, it is not the Megaton hammer. It is the magic hammer. I am losing my mind right now. Okay, I'm losing my mind. Anyway, let's go up the top here. This will more or less take us to the same spot. Now we can get these Force Gems, which is nice. And we'll now go through here. This isn't really where I wanted to go, except there is something that we can interact with here using the Megaton Hammer. Okay. This is going to be a good way to get Force Gems, fortunately. We've got a Force Fairy as well. It's very nice. Righty. So now, we'll just break these pots, and I think, yeah, we might as well head out through here. And I think I might go in this direction now. Or is this... No, that that's where the pots are. That's right. I remember. Simply because I've gone through there many times before. Alright, now let's go through this cave. And interact with whatever Megaton Hammer looking thing was going on this way. More specifically next to this vulture. So now we can drop down and get access to this new cave area. Picking up... This or dropping down and having to do that all again. Alright, this is a freaking lovely area. Freaking lovely video, freaking lovely everything. The world is just a lovely place today. Anyway, let's go drop down here, pick up this without actually jumping down again. And what do we have access to now? Let me just make sure that I don't do anything strange here. I'm checking all options first and foremost. I am now falling down a hole. Beautiful. Alright, so let's go into the square formation or cube formation, depends on what you want to say. I say cube because I imagine them standing in a square, but because them existing as four people is kind of three-dimensional in a sense, it would kind of make sense to say cube. I don't know, it's really stupid, maybe it should just say square formation makes more sense. Anyway, what happens when we push this? This is confusing, I don't know what's happening here. Does this form a path? Like, what the fuck does this do? Yeah, it does. I don't know how that works, but it, it does. It works. That's all that matters. Oh. Did anything just happen there? That pot's filled with a lot of oil, so be careful. I see. So we did need to do a shitload of backtracking to be able to get this fire source. So it's not anything like a fire rod. It's actually just a good old-fashioned fire pot. Which doesn't make any sense, but whatever. Hopefully we don't have a limited amount of time with these things. I don't think the game's that mean, is it? Is the game that mean? I'm not too sure. Anyway, 
This isn't supposed to be a difficult game, this is just a fun game to play, I guess, but, uh, yeah, I'm a bit worried about the possibility, or the prospect, at the very least, of us running out of time and these exploding in our faces. Now, I just had this distinct feeling that I was supposed to determine which of these actual, um, I guess, uh, fuses that I want to be lighting. Wait, hold on. One, two, three, four, five, six in total. <laughs> I could have just gone, you know, three there, three there, six. Uh, but no, I decided to do it the long way. All right, you know what? I think we need to blow the... Uh... <laughs> blow. Anyway, sorry. Um, Very juvenile of me. Okay. Can I blow this one up? No, stop throwing it so far. Oh, my God. Okay. Now, that's the one I want to aim for to get the blue pot. And I have a feeling that that's the one we want to aim for, you know, the odd one out. Let's just aim for that one first, you know. What happens when we blow that up? Just force gems? Okay, can you fuck off, Tingle? You get out of there. You get the hell out of there, mate. I've only got one link to actually pick all this stuff up, but I can still do it fast enough. I would love to kill you. I can't stand Tingle. He's such an asshole. Alright, so it turns out that we need to blow all these up. Alright. I didn't think we needed to, but... Too bad, I guess. This is awful. This is just awful! I'll see you guys back here, because I couldn't be bothered doing all that on camera again. Alrighty, so here we are again. This time I'm going to be nice and careful. You know how I'm going to do that? I'm going to do that. Just light those fuses. It doesn't matter where they go, honestly. As long as they hit something, and they will hit something. Hopefully. Alright, so they're both going to blow something up, which is nice. How about we go to the next one, which is going to be the first fuse. What about a giant bomb? Oh, let's get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Alright. So that's exploding off screen. I'm sure we would have ended up dying if we would have allowed that. What? Huh? What the fuck? I don't know why I just did that, but that's not what I wanted to do. Alright, so we wanted to hit the giant bomb, is that right? Maybe we only needed to hit one of them. I don't know. I, you know why I left the area? Escape to your Game Boy Advance. Ah! I get you. Alright, that's... <laughs> thought it just wanted me to leave the area. Alrighty. So what? Okay. Alright, good to know. So let's do that again, guys. Do you know the fucking process that's required? I'm gonna do this... I'm gonna speed this up just to show you the process. All of that effort just to do that. Beautiful. Alrighty, so now I'm going to throw that and boom. Good to know. So uh, at this stage, I guess we're just going to go to the Game Boy Advance, technically. As you can see, this is just a screen that shows you what the Game Boy Advance screen is. Basically, you can connect a Game Boy Advance to your GameCube and um, be able to play on your Game Boy Advance, but, uh, or Advance. I always say Advanced. Because it just sounds strange to say advance, like Game Boy Advance? In my mind, it makes more sense for it to be the advanced Game Boy, so therefore Game Boy Advanced, like it's describing the Game Boy, you know? Game Boy Advance? Like what? Anyway, sorry guys. Regardless, I know it doesn't make any sense, but it seems like we only needed to blow up that one? Is that what the fuck was going on? This is awful. This is an awful area that's making me waste way too much time. What are you doing? I don't want to make that more powerful. I want the boomerang. Because we were just given... Anyway. We were given boomerangs before, so I'm thinking maybe we want the strong boomerang instead, but... I don't know if this shockwave does anything. Does it do anything that we want to do? I don't even know. Alright, so what? Is it going to go in the hole? Yeah, it is. Okay. Let's just do this. Oh, shit. We need this one to go in the hole. Yeah, that, yeah, that's exactly what we wanted. So it seems that the Megaton Hammer is exactly what we wanted to turn level 2 there, so that worked out. 
Alright, don't run into me, okay? Come, come on, come on. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, no. Maybe we need to go closer to affect the ones over there. That's gonna roll on my head if I'm not careful. Um, Alright, so this is gonna go in the hole. No, never mind. Okay, that's just gonna go right on top of me and take all my freaking force gems. This is the most awful fucking area on planet Earth. That's what I've decided. I, I'm just so not in the mood for this shit. Alright, no, it was gonna go in the hole. This is just the most awful shit on, like, you just, nah. Alright, can you just go away? Go away from me, alright? I can't believe this game. I wasn't expecting it to have an area that was just this freaking awful. Here we go, we don't- Using the Megaton Hammer does nothing- <sighs> At this stage, we're- we're just waiting for one to just happen to fall in the hole. Alright, that's why we're doing this. I'm losing a lot of freaking health. And I think I just lost some force gems as well. Oh, maybe this will actually break this. <laughs> this will break this. Aren't I just fucking great at explaining what I'm trying to explain? What I meant was that I was hoping that the magic hammer, and I always say megaton hammer, I'm sorry for that. Oh my god. Seeing you just ruined everything. But, um, yeah, I was kind of hoping that the hammer would be able to break this, but... No. Nah. Maybe if we charge it? No, nope, nothing. Alrighty. I guess we'll hit all of these down. See if that does anything. Probably will. It's hard to imagine what it would do. Oh, we can probably move the house out of the way now. That's a point, because we have done this before. Alright, well that's good. I'm not talking to the Goron. I don't care what you guys want from me. I'm not talking to the Goron. I don't want to converse with them. I also want to throw that out of the way. I don't care if it hurts me. I just need all four, thank you. That's what I've decided. Alrighty, so what are we going to do with these? Let's work this out. Without talking to the Goron. Thank you. What? Use fire on fire? I don't get it. Oh, that's exactly what I wanted to do, everyone. Let me just keep going ahead until I can work out what I want to do with these fire pots, because like, at this stage, I need water pots, not fire pots. Thank you. The fuck? I don't have a key. Where would we use fire pots? I don't want to talk to these people. I don't want to talk to them. I don't care what you people think. I don't want to talk to them. I have absolutely no interest in doing that. Okay, so I'm getting the Megaton Hammer. So I guess that means we need to use it. Well, yeah, of course we need to use it in this area, but... Going forward? I don't know. I'm not sure. Someone build a house here. Really? That's what you're talking about? Fuck you. I don't have an issue with this. I mean, this is not a problem at all. This is a puzzle that we engaged in in the previous area, so we're not confused as to what to do here. I'd love to just push this house on top of you. That's what I want to do right now. I'm not too sure what we're doing with these fire pots. This is a confusing thing for me. Because as far as I can tell, we want water pots to put out the fire in the next area, but was there something down here that I missed? No, no, let's not go back here. I don't want to go back in there. That's just an awful place. But over here? It's just, there was nothing in here, right? Nothing of interest, no. So, what, what's here? Anything? What happens if we throw the fire in the fire? Oh, stop it! Nothing happens, is what? What do you have to say for yourself? Looking for him everywhere, I bet he buried himself again. He still has the key. Why do you look like that? What is that? Someone tell me what that is, because I don't understand. Anyway, um, I can't even believe he's a Goron, it's just shameful, yeah, okay. A solid thumping, oh, I get it. Do that shockwave, there you go. So what was the point of the freaking fire pots? Do, do they serve any purpose, or is it just to confuse me? Alright, so you're not the stupid one, you're the stupid one. I was trying to hide you, meanie, and I accidentally went and smashed you on the head, but... It ended up being an accident that I was quite proud of. Anyway. Okay, so the fire pots, ladies and gentlemen, were fucking useless. They just confused me for the sake of it. Why not? Says the game. Why not? Let's just confuse the player. Oh my god. Anyway. So what are we going to do now? 
is go ahead and not throw all of them at the same time now that I think about it. I'm going to be smarter than that. I'm just going to use as many as I need. And it might end up being four. Because, you know, just in case one of these directions is a direction we don't want to go, we want access to both directions, yeah. But um, let's take the right side first. All right, I'm going to go and collect these force gems. Beautiful. That's exactly what I wanted. And it seems that regardless of which one we actually gain access to, we will reach the same place ultimately. Although it seems the right side is where you go to get those better force gems, so that's a good thing to know. All right, defeat Shadow Link. We have done this before. This is nothing new for us. I will do the strong attack. See if that does anything. No, it's not doing anything. Come on. I'm trying to hit Doom. Doom Link, yeah. <laughs> Shadow Link. A Doom Link does indeed relate to Shadow Link, the name itself. Um, sort of, in a way. That There are a lot of meanings behind Doom Link, but uh, that's one of the main ones. Okay, so he's dealt with, and he's going to change colour. Alright, so... We're going to have to do this for all four of them? My god. Alright, I'm trying to do the strong attack here. It's difficult to hit him because his shield always fucking shields, you know? Kind of how shields work. You have to kind of go to the side where he's not... Alright, there we go. So, you're dead. Now let's go and deal with the other guys. Or is that all we need to do? Once again, they show multiple shadow links, but then they decide that once you hit one of them, it's good. It's fine. I guess the idea is that they're just clones, and then when you decide to kill one, that'll just kill them all. It's better than nothing. May as well pick up the fire rod. I have a feeling that we might need this. I don't know why. I'm just getting this feeling in my... Uh, I was going to say something really bad, and then I decided not to say it, because I'm a, I'm a nice guy. I don't want to traumatize you people. I'm such a tease, aren't I? But anyway, let's go and do this. Oh, wait. What would we... Oh. It was just for visual effects. Speaking of visual effects that I don't want to be looking at, I don't want to see you or any text that you have to say ever again. See, I don't need to look at what anything he has to say. That didn't make sense, that sentence. Let me say that again. That's the Helmarok King. I just saw him fly past. That is a boss from Wind Waker that does exist in this game, and I forgot about him. We need the Magic Hammer. Just in case, for some bizarre reason, we do not get it again. And I got 100 Force Gems for no reason. But just in case we don't get another one, I will go back and pick up the one that I just did away with. Hopefully it's still level 2. I wonder if it is. Mm, no, it's not. I don't think so, anyway. No, it's not. Because it will say, next to the item itself, that it is L2, meaning level 2, of course. So I just saw the Helmarok King there. Maybe we don't find him yet, because it is only level 1-2. So maybe he will be the boss of level 1-3. I can't imagine him being the uh, the boss here. But if he is, you know, that's going to be weird. Oh, he is. All right. Let's go find him, then. Maybe most of the bosses are going to be from Wind Waker, but... Uh, what the hell was that sound? That is not what the Helmarok King does in terms of his sound. That, that sounds so awful. This is not an NES game. Do we need to, like, Megaton hammer the shit out of him out of the air? That would be weird. That doesn't... That's not... All right, well, you're doing weird things, and I'm not sure what's going on here. Okay, so there's the Megaton hammer there. I need to stop saying Megaton hammer. It's magic hammer, but you know what? I think I'm just going to keep being wrong. Because I don't care. I'm just so used to saying Megaton Hammer from Ocarina of Time, so do excuse that. Anyway, not like I enjoy Ocarina of Time. For those who are not familiar with this fact, I do not like Ocarina of Time. I'm one of those very few people who dislikes the game, but anyway. I did do a Let's Play of it, and I do still have all of that footage. I'm going to do a compilation video of that, and I've been meaning to do that for a long time. I did start making the Ocarina of Time compilation video a while ago, but... Um, can I throw this at you? That would make no sense if I could do that. What the fuck? That fucking timing, man. That was totally unintentional. Can I hit you? Like, what the fuck's going on? That timing was beautiful. I can't hit this guy. I don't know why. Do I need to bomb you again? Like, what the fuck, man? I don't know. But that timing was just unreal. Like, that was just something... Oh, fuck. Yeah, that's not what I wanted to do. All right, throw it down. No! All right, so let's just try that again. Maybe he flies into it. I don't know. All right, that's fine. But that timing was very good. You can't deny... Oh, I see. So we have to go inside the cave and hit his head. I understand. 
Like, don't hit me, stupid case. So let's just keep hitting his face and I... No, his mask is still on. This case is actually worse than the boss, if you can imagine that. The case, so far, has done more damage to me than the boss. Is that not great? It's, of course, extreme sarcasm, but, uh... Oh, I missed. Damn. Come on, come on! No more rocks, please. Just... Nah, I missed. It's not as easy as it looks. I think I was just extremely lucky, to be honest with you. I'm just gonna die if I let that explode on my head. Stop it! Just... Stop it, please! Like... No. Trying to get on target here is not the easiest thing I think you'll find. Come on, fly down, and then, yes, get hit. Because, like, that didn't physically make sense. More keys being annoying. Stop it, please. Alright. My performance here has been quite poor, hasn't it? Alright, now we need to hit his face with our sword. If it works the same as the Wind Waker boss. So, uh, my god. I guess it does help that... You know, if you've played Wind Waker, you'll know how to deal with the enemies, because, you know, you've already killed them in Wind Waker. It's funny, because I still don't actually... Oh, here we go. So at this stage, we just want to attack him with our sword without getting him stuck in the wall. But it is funny that uh, we don't have 2,000 Force Gems while fighting this boss at this stage, so hopefully we do get a lot when we kill him. It, we should. But, uh, here we go. The thing is, it hurts me when I throw the bomb at you as well, so it's... Just not ideal. Maybe if I can... I think it will work that I'll be attacking him a lot more if I have all the links striking him. Makes sense to me. I'm about to die because I'm an idiot. The bombs are hurting me more... The bombs and the keys are doing more damage to me than the actual boss. Yeah, you can see I'm hitting him, like, I guess, uh, three times more. Far out! No, it's not what I want. It's not as easy as it looks, quite frankly. Here we go. No, yeah, yeah. That's what we want. That's a weird spot for you to die if you're going to die there. P1 took great damage. I don't know what to do with this area. It's ridiculous. But, of course, I do have plenty of Force Fairies. Just look at it based on how many I have actually picked up myself recently. Forget the fact that I have way too many. Just ignore that fact. Alright, no, nah, that didn't work. Pick up this one. Yes, alright, do what you need to do. I'm losing all of my frickin' Force Gems, but that's fine. Because hopefully I'll get a lot of them at this stage. Now that I've beaten this enemy. Alright, hopefully this is actually going to be enough. Once again, I'm taking great damage, because I'm just... I'm great like that, you know. Yes, this will be enough, fortunately. Alright, once again, we don't need more than 2,000, as I've mentioned. It's just... just for fun, getting more than 2,000. Once you've got 2,000, that's... That's fine. Oh, what the hell? Where did I pick that up from? Did I... I picked it up here, but it came from here. Am I going insane? That happened, didn't it? No, I'm, I'm not making that up. That's exactly what happened. Anyway, yeah, I wasn't actually expecting to fight the Helmerock King before the final boss of this particular level, so that was quite interesting. But anyway, that's about it for this video, I suppose, guys. We have completed... Level 3-2. And in the next video, we will be taking on level 3-3. Which I suppose is the, well, definitely, the final area of level 3. Ugh. Area, section, doesn't matter. As long as I don't refer to it as a level. If I refer to a section or an area as a level, that's going to get really fucking confusing. The level is Death Mountain. The area or section is Tower of Flames that we are coming into now. So yeah, anyway... Thank you for watching, everyone. It is indeed me, Doom Link. I think you know that by now, but I'm reminding you just in case you are severely retarded. It is the 20th of November 2017, and it has currently been Part 8. I'll see you guys in Part 9, where we take on the final section of Level 3, which will, of course, be Level 3-3 in the title of the video. I'll see you guys in the Tower of Flames. Bye-bye.